I'll also move the dimensions to their own layer. So I'm going to select all of these guys. But for these guys, I'm just going to make sure that uh, first I switch their color to be by layer, and then I'll switch their layer to the dimensions. And like I said, we can do that either from the layers um, window or from properties. And you can see these guys are all looking good. And now we can start working on the furniture. For the furniture, I'm going to use some of the blocks that actually come loaded already with AutoCAD. I'm also going to use like some of the blocks that I personally created, uh, and I will load them into this project. I'm going to include these two collections here. I'm just going to select them, uh, copy, and then paste them here, basically. Okay. So these ones, like they are available uh, for free, so you can download them and use them with your project. Uh, some of them, like this one, is also free. Uh, you'll be able to use it. So I'm just going to copy and paste it uh, over here. Um, but the rest of them, like if you are following with the course, you'll get access to all of these like as part of the course. But if you're watching on YouTube, uh, I'll provide you like the download links so you can actually, um, if you'd like to get them and purchase them, they'll be available uh, on the JCAT store. So I have one more. I think I added this one. I added the tables. I'm going to add the TVs. Uh, we'll choose one of these guys here. And then I think one last one. So this was the layers. I think we have everything. I think we have everything we need for the project. So let's start with the simple stuff. Like let's start. Uh, I want to start first with the, um, let's start with the bedroom. So I do have like a, a, a bed collection here. Let me see here. So I have twin and full. So I'm going to use like the king size. I try to always use. Uh, the biggest size just to see if it fits maybe for the smaller bedrooms we'll use a queen bed but i'm gonna use the king here for the master bedroom uh, i'm thinking we put it here and then i'm just gonna rotate it and then i'm just gonna offset it by like three inches just away from the wall and as we're working i do want to switch now to the furniture layer so now as we're working we're gonna we're gonna be switching like to the layers that we need to work with um and just like to make our workflow like you know uh, pretty smooth so here here's the furniture what i'm thinking is we can keep actually the walls doors and windows locked but i'm gonna hide the dimensions we don't need them right now and i'm gonna hide the text i do recognize where we are in the space so this should be fine we have the furniture layer okay so i added the bed here uh, i'm thinking to add like a nightstand here so this one i'll be like six inches away so here's 18 inches, and then I'll do like two feet, 18 inches, and then I'll close this. And then I'm just gonna add like a lamp on top of it. I don't have a block for a lamp. I usually just draw it because it's pretty quick. I'm gonna offset this by two inches to the inside. And then the way I like to represent the lamps like this. Now we can block this. Um, I think uh, let's just block it because we'll probably use this uh, more often in the project in any way, just to remind you about how to use the block command. So I'm going to select the objects and then I'm going to block it. And then let's say I'm going to call it J lamp. And then the base point I'll choose from the center and then I'll create the block. So now that I have it, I'm just going to select uh, the table, like the nightstand and the lamp, and I'm just going to mirror it to the other side. And then we can copy this uh, to the other bedrooms. So I have here a bedroom. So here the beds, I was thinking of doing them like the opposite direction. So here I will use a queen bed instead. So I'll copy it. You can move these, but I like to always copy versus like um, actually moving or using the, the ones that are there. It's just, I like to keep them visible in front of me. It's just up to you really. It's just so I don't lose them uh, or anything. Okay, and then I'm gonna use match properties with this to this to match the bit. And then I'm gonna mirror this to the opposite direction. And then I'm gonna select all of them and push them like maybe two, three inches away from the wall. And then I'll copy these guys. Uh, I'm gonna copy them to the other bedroom. So what I will do is actually I will mirror it. I will mirror based, I think these two window, like these two rooms are the same. Let me see here. So this is 11, eight. I wonder if they are exactly the same. If that's the case, I can just mirror it perfectly. It doesn't look like it, but anyway, I'll just go ahead and mirror based on the middle point here and they should come up roughly at the right spot and then i'll just slide them to the wall and then i'll slide them up 
by like two, three inches, like we usually do. And now we have this, we have the bathroom here, we have the closet. So this is all looking good so far. So okay. for the master bedroom, we can actually get a little bit more detailed and add like a desk or something. Maybe I'll just add here, maybe like a little ottoman. Um, I'm gonna do two feet rectangle away from that point and then I'll come back here and then I'll push it away by like three inches. I'll make this, maybe this is too deep of an ottoman. I'll just do make it like six inches less. Um, and since we're doing this, like again, I'm gonna keep showing you new commands as we go. I do want to round the edges of this ottoman. Um, so to do it, I will use a command called fillet. Uh, I hope I'm saying it right, but the shortcut for it is the letter F. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it. So the way the fillet command works, we need to actually to assign the radius for it of like how round it's gonna make the edges. Uh, so before you select objects, as it's asking you, you can see AutoCAD is saying right now on the cursor, it's saying select first object or. So when, it, when you see or, it means you have options and there's actually an arrow pointing down. So that means with the keyboard, you can click down with the down arrow and now you're gonna see these options. From here, I'm gonna choose the radius and then I'm gonna type three inches. You can add the inch symbol or leave it. AutoCAD understands that the default is inches. And then I'm gonna do like this. And then I'm gonna start the fillet command again and then round this edge to this edge and then this one to this one. And then I'm gonna start it. And now we have like a full rounded ottoman and I think this is looking nice so far. And then here, maybe in this corner, we will add a little bit of seating. So let me see what we have in the pre collection. So maybe we'll copy this chair. You can see I noted on them like what's the size. Uh, so you see this one is 36 wide by 34 deep. And just so you know, this text doesn't print actually. I placed it on a layer uh, that doesn't print. This is one of the options within the layers. It's actually it's not visible here, but if you right click on one of them, you can see here like the word that says plot. So uh, there are some plots that will not print. So you see, it looks like the doors is placed on no plot. Okay, good, we're checking this because we didn't, we do want the doors uh, to plot. Uh, we could have seen this problem later when we were printing, but anyway. But you see like the death point layer, this is like the layer that doesn't plot. Uh, and I think that's the layer I'm using. I call that death point as well, similar to AutoCAD. So back to here. So I'm going to copy this back to doing the furniture. And we are working on the master bedroom. Okay, this chair maybe is a little too big. Maybe we'll, I was thinking of like two seaters maybe. Um, let's choose something a little smaller. Maybe this one, let's do, yeah, let's do this one. Like this one enough. Okay, and then I'll place it here. And then let's say I wanna rotate it. I'm gonna rotate it from the back. I'm gonna type 15 degrees. So it's like a slight rotation and like this. And then I'll mirror it to the opposite direction. And then maybe we'll place like a table in between them. So let's say I want the table to be exactly in the middle. So I'll draw a, a line, a reference line. And then here I'll just draw a circle. Let's do maybe like one foot diameter or one foot radius. Let's delete it. So one foot, I need to add the foot symbol like this. And then I'm going to match the layer of these guys with the circle. And then I'll copy the lamp. Uh, from here, let's copy it. Maybe too many lamps, it's up to you really, but again, I'm trying to show you options here. Uh, and one last thing, I'm thinking we'll add like a TV stand here and add a TV as well. So let's do let's do something that aligns with these guys. So I'll just do something based on the bed. I'll go like one foot away a rectangle and then I'll place it here. And then this one, I'll move it all the way down so that way it's exactly like the width of the bed forgot how wide the bed is let's see how wide was the king bed so six feet four four inches okay so we have this and now i'm going to use one of the tvs let me see what we have i think 60 inch tv should look pretty nice in the bedroom so we'll select that we'll place it here and then i'm going to rotate it Oppa. i wanted to rotate it like perfect 90 degrees come down and then push it in like maybe three inches and I think for the most part we're looking good with the master bedroom.